All right, um, welcome to a night of uh, gaming some uh, hardwired cyberpunk skirmish gaming. Uh, I've been trying to uh, change some setups uh, for the gaming and the videos, so we'll see how it works. Um, so let's get uh, let's get going. Tonight I'm playing Hardwired, uh, Cyberpunk, Espionage, and uh, Mayhem, and uh, let's go for a a quick show here of the board. So today this is uh, this is the board we're gaming on. It's a uh, landfill, a waste area. The mission is for my uh, four agents here to move into the area and uh, remove some squatters that has uh, taken to living here. There's four guys on the board. The plan is that um, my agents need to get in, kill them all, drive them away. And um, after doing that, exit the area before they are swarmed by the uh, hostile security forces. The, the enemies on the board, the, the squatters living there are uh, D6 enemies. And to make it, uh, there's four of them, they need to be killed. Uh, and then the agents have to hack a terminal right there to uh, send a signal for, for the employers that the area is now safe and the people living there have been driven off. And uh, we'll see if I can remember the rules for Hardwired. It's been quite a while since I've uh, since I've played it, actually. So we'll see. We'll see. For this mission, I'm bringing uh, a Ronin Gator. He survived all the game so far, armed with a shotgun and some uh, combat drugs for making him more efficient. Conduit. He's my uh, hacker, and he's having some programs for better dealing with uh, enemy. Uh, 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 robots. And then we have Sawbones. Uh, Spotless is his name. He's the medic of the team. And he's going to heal my guys when they get wounded. And the new recruit after Brick was killed uh, last time. This is Sai Ann. She's a splicer. So she has uh, psychic abilities. And is able to yeah, do some new tricks that I haven't tried before. So we'll have to see how that works. All right, um, I just need to make a. I need to do Let's see here. Oh, and over here, perhaps. Okay. Ah, I just need to change my screen a bit. There we go, so I can better see the chat. Right. Let's go to the. Mm, let's see here. There we go. <laughs> like that. So, um, this is the this is the board. There's a central area with the uh, with the uh, four enemies scattered about. My team is uh, entering the the board from down here. There are four points of entry for the uh, hostile security. That's point number one. Then there's point number two and uh, three up here, and point number four on this side, right there. Um, all my dudes have free actions with their uh, with uh, their different dice types. And uh, I better start by moving them into cover and trying to take some shots. Um, the, where's the right left balance a bit off? What's the right left balance? Something with the colors? Well, let's, uh, let's get going here. So I'll start off with Spotless, the Sawbones. Um, he gets a free move action first. That's four inches. 
it's up there. And then he'll spend his uh, first action and he gets two dice for a movement action. Four plus for a success. That's there. Um, and he moves up here. And then he'll try to take a shot at the first character right there. Kill the music until I get that to work uh, properly. Um, this is allowed in the left channel. Let's see if we can change this here. See if it makes a difference. Let me uh, let me know if that changes the sound. Um, so that was his first action. Next action, he'll try to uh, take a shot at the um, this guy right here. He's in the open. He's not in cover from the start. And uh, let's see. A four, so that's a success. There is no, uh, he gets plus one from having some smart ammo. And then it's the, uh, the enemy trying to defend himself. He needed a four plus, he didn't get it. So that's a target taken out. It's always a bit, you know, um, if we've made a good, um, good balance in a game like Hardwired in terms of coming up with a scenario that's not too easy. So Spotless, that was his D8 action. Now uh, for his uh, D10 action, I think he will try to um, yeah, take another move action. Let's see. And there's a success right there. Let's see if we can get him. He can't really get into, yeah, he'll climb up here. He'll go a bit back here and try to stay in cover behind all this uh, this rubble right here. So that was the, the first guy done. Then it's, uh, let's see here, Conduit, the Hagger. He'll get his uh, free move action and we'll see if he can get a uh, second move action as well. There was a success. A success, a six. So he's uh, moving eight inches. That lets him go over here and try to take a shot at the, a guy right here. He's, uh, let's see if we can capture him on the close-up camera instead. That guy standing right there, my dude there. So we'll see if he can, um, if he can hit him. And he has a D8 for a shooting attack and the guy is not in cover. A five, so that's a success. And we'll see if this, um, he can make a save. A two, he couldn't. So that's two of the squatters already down and killed. And with his uh, last action, he's going to take a uh, another move action. And he gets uh, two dice because he's a hacker. No, no success. That was a three as well. So that was uh, his turn. Then it's uh, Gator. And uh, Gator is the Ronin. And I think he will start by activating a uh, an adrenaline boost. If successful, he will uh, be able to move much faster. He needs a four plus for a success, a five. So he gets a plus four uh, movement to all his movement actions. So the first one here is the free move of eight. And then let's see if he can make another move action. A two, so that didn't work. And for his uh, last attempt, a two, that didn't work. So he's out of action. And then it's Cyan, the new one on the squad. Um, let's see if she gets a uh, move action. A six, that's a success. And with her free move, she's able to move uh, eight. So that's up here. And I think she'll take a, another move action with the uh, D8. No. Better get her into cover. So last action, yes. Get her up here. Staying in cover behind that, uh, that dumpster right there. And that's already my first turn done. Then we'll uh, take the actions of, uh, of 
the squatters, they get a free move action. And then this one right here behind the tower will take a shot at uh, Conduit. Let's see here. So we have a squatter over there. And we'll take a shot if I don't mind cover, um, at Conduit over there. So let's see if the enemy can hit anything. A d6 uh, needs a fall plus to uh, to hit, and there's some obstructions in the way, so that's uh, minus two to the roll. No, no success, no hit. And then we have another squatter moving in and taking a movement action, no success. Yeah, that's the end of the first turn. Uh, after this, I just need to do something here. Let's see. Screens are kind of messing with me. Just a minute. Uh... Okay. So uh, that was the first turn, and here at the first turn, four of the enemy troopers will enter the the board, and then um, they come from two different uh, entry points. So let's see. The first entry point is entry point number one. So that's right here. So the enemy comes swooping in with two guys, and the uh, second area they enter from is number four. So the next troopers enter from over here and that's two d6 troopers as well and they start by uh, taking a free move action to try and move into cover. The first one goes here, second one goes there and then we have these guys over here they can't really stay in cover. They'll try to hide here behind the Unimark. There we go. And let's have a look at the uh, at the map after turn one. So my guys are moving in to the area. So uh, Gator needs to get close. He has a shotgun. We have Conduit and the Spotless, the Sawbones down here. Cyan is pretty close. There's an enemy there that needs dealing with. An enemy over there. Then we have the first security troopers entering the board from over here in their police car. And we have two guys over there with the assault tuk-tuk. So, second turn. Um, why are your... Let's just see if I can change it here. I just need to change the chat here, chat box, because it should be automatically removing the uh, the chat after 10 seconds. Okay, uh, let's see what we uh, do here in turn number two. Cyan needs to try and uh, use a psionic ability to try and kill one of these uh, hostile security forces over here. You can't see this tower is actually really badly placed. Uh, so uh, let's see here. So she has uh, she can use a a psychic ability called stab. So she's trying to make a mental attack, stabbing into uh, that security person's brain. She needs. Uh, a four plus for a success, that's right there. And then the enemy gets to defend, and on a four plus, he didn't die, but he has to move away four inches because she got stabbed and is hurting her brain. Then she needs to make a free, I don't know what to put her. I think she'll try to use a, uh, an ability called pre -cock. That lets her take a lot of actions um, 
when the enemy is uh, failing their activation roll. So that's a success. She has uh, a free card now. So she, she, she might get a chance to react every time the enemy does something. And for her last... Uh... Okay, so she'll use her free... So she gets uh, into cover here and with her last action... Uh, yeah, she, she had the pre -cock. with her last action. She'll try to take a shot at this trooper over here. And that's going to be a light cover, so it'll be harder to hit. And did she get some smart ammo? Okay, so a 10. That's uh, that's definitely a hit on the, on the enemy. And uh, it's in light cover and she has smart ammo, so a 4 plus to save, and it doesn't, so this trooper is killed. Off you go. That was Cyan's turn. Now let's take a Gator. Gator needs to get up close and personal, so let's try and activate the um, Adrenaline Boost with a 6, so that's a success. His free move action, that'll make him, he can go now uh, for 8 inches. That's enough to get over here and hide. And then he'll try and fire his shotgun into the face of the squatter staying right there. And that should be no problem. Gator has uh, two dice when uh, doing a shooting attack. So he gets two dice on the D8. That's a success. And then the enemy has to try and save. A two, that's not a success, and he is dead. Might have made too easy a scenario here. There should have been an encampment or behind some battlements or something like that. Um, Gator still has one action. I don't think a shotgun is far enough. He'll use his uh, last action to try and get into a better cover position. A ten, that's a success. With adrenaline boost, he can still move. Uh, eight inches, so he uh, he runs over here and hides in the tower. That'll provide him with some cover. Next up is uh, let's take uh, conduit. Conduit will first try and activate uh, a a cap so that he's. Oh, he'll try to use an item. He's. Uh, PKD macro, so that's a program that will make it easier for him to hijack enemy drones if there's some of those on the board at some point. No, no success. Then he'll try to... Um... Mm. He'll move up here and he'll try to take a shot at the security trooper over there. Let's see if he can hit anything. The D6 is gone. So intervening terrain, that's a minus two on his roll. He doesn't hit. And his last die, let's see if he can hit anything with that. Uh, a four, so no success. That's not good. Last up is uh, Sawbones, and Sawbones will try and activate the Adrenaline Boost for some extra movement. Mm, no success. Damn it. So he'll just use 4 inches to sneak over here, and then he'll try to take some shots at the uh, squatter right there. I'd better try and take it out. Uh, let's see. Does he have anything good? Nah. Okay, let's see if he can hit anything. A seven. Uh, a seven minus two. So that brings him to five minus two for light cover. That brings him to uh, three plus one for smart ammo. So that's still a success. Um, and hello, uh, blood bearding ton. <laughs> Welcome. Nice name you have there. This one needs to try and take a uh, save, and that's a four, so that's done. That's all my guys, that's all my actions. Let's take some actions from uh, from the enemy troopers. First up here is the, this one here, the Mama 
of the tribe. And she'll take a, a shot at the uh, easiest uh, enemy, and that's Cyan. Let's see if you can hit anything. A two, so that's not a success. And then she'll move her free action, because I'm playing in a bit harder mode, so all enemies get a free action, and she's running up here to hide behind the tower and get some extra cover. This security trooper will go up here into cover and also take a shot at the Zion. A five minus two for cover, so that's not a hit. And then these guys over here will be moving into the area. They can't shoot far enough, so they'll see if they can take a movement action to move from over here. Uh, no success on the first one, and the second guy, no success. This turn, three enemies uh, of the D6 quality will enter from each spawn point, so from the first point will be point number two. I'm just taking some random dudes here, there's a couple of drones there, up here. And spawn point number two, so six guys. Entering the board from up here. And they will all take a three. It's not a very flattering image right there. They will take a free uh, movement action, trying to get into the area of operations. So they're all swarming in here. Cone. And that's the uh, end of turn number two. Let's take a close-up of the action. So my guys, they are pretty much all in the starting area still. There's that one security trooper there they have to fight. The last squatter is hiding in there. Then a gator is hiding in the tower. These two guys over here are moving in slowly towards the action. And then six new enemies has entered the board up here. A couple of drones. I'm just picking random models. So hopefully I'll be able to hijack a couple of the drones and uh, use them to my own advantage. Uh, I'll try to keep a look on the chat while gaming. So any questions, please let me know. Any plans or any suggestions, I drop them in the chat. I try to make a habit of of looking to my right to see if there's any comments while gaming, but um, yeah, it's a start. I need to kill this one right here. I need to hack the terminal there, and I need to try and get all my guys out alive. And there's uh, gonna get more and more enemies on the board uh, while we're doing this. I think we'll start off with the Cyan again, and she'll try to... Uh, She'll try to stab this one in the brain. That's a success. And they need a 4 plus to uh, defense. No. So this time the security trooper is dead. Brain bursting from her psychic attack. Uh, that was the first one. Uh, let's use her second action to try and stab the last squatter in the brain as well. That's another success, a d6 for defense, so that's a success right there. And then let's use her last action as well, and she's rolling two dice for psychic attacks. So a six, and let's see if there's another defense in the squatter. Nope, so it's done and killed. So that's all the squatters killed. Then we just need to get up to the terminal and try to uh, hack it to send a signal. Uh, Cyan will use her free movement to try and get into... Where is there any kind of cover here? Up here behind the dumpster. Let's try and hide her here behind the tent. Uh, let's take... Let's take a con... Do it my combat hacker. First try to um, make an adrenaline boost so you can move some extra movement. No success. Then we'll use uh, try to use a movement action 
So that's a success right there. So that eight inches of movement he gets this turn. Oh, that will leave him pretty exposed. He's over there by the tower. Let's use his last action to see if we can get another move action on him. And there's a success. So that's another four inches and he is at the terminal, ready to try and hack it. So I think the plan now is for the other guys to try and set up some defensive uh, perimeter, uh, some corridors of fire to take out the enemies when they uh, when they get closer. First up here, let's take uh, let's take Spotless. Um, he can use some support. Mm. Yeah. First, we'll use his uh, free movement action to get him into a better position. That's right here. Let's see if we can actually see the enemy. That lets him take a shot at the first enemy. So let's do that with, uh, let's try a simple uh, D6, a five, but there's a minus two because there's some intervening terrain. Let's try again. One, no success. And with his last dice, let's try and take and uh, make him go overwatch. No, he failed everything. That's not good. Uh, then there is uh, Gator left, and Gator. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see if he can uh, make that adrenaline boost work to move quicker. A four plus, so that's a success. Let's give him a, a move action. No. Hmm. Let's try with the D ten. A four plus for a success, so that's right there. So he can move uh, sixteen inches. Let's just move him up here, hide him behind this wagon, and uh, he can blast those security guys with his shotgun next turn. That's all, my guys. That's all my actions. Now it's time for the uh, security forces to take their free move action and then go blasting. Let's start with the guys over here. They are closest. Um, they want to keep themselves safe, but they also want to try and prevent me from doing my mission. So these guys will have to move out into the open because their primary target is to kill my guys and stop me. So they can't just hop cover. They wouldn't. They wouldn't do anything. And now they take uh, this guy takes his uh, shoot action. A six, so that's a hit, despite Gator being in cover. Then Gator needs to um, try to uh, defend. A three, so he's wounded. There goes his D10 action. Now he only has two actions left each turn. D8 and D6. Then the uh, other security guy will take a shot. A four with cover, so he doesn't hit anything. Then all these guys up here take their free move action. Swarming me. Well, let's see here. That's four inches right there. So I think they will try and move in different uh, directions, move in different routes around the tower. There we go. And all of them will have to take now the drone, see, can the drone that can take a shot, minus two. Oh, so he won't be able to hit, he has to take, so they all have to move again. Uh, the drone first, move action, no. Then we'll just take the guys up here. First one, a drone in front, no. Trooper, no. Red hair dude, no. Another trooper, no. And troop commander, no. That was a waste. That's that's not a lot of success. Six guys failing a 50-50 roll. Good for my troops. Um, so now even more enemies will swarm the area. And this is turn one, two, three. So now it's the D8 enemies coming. Two coming from uh, the season spawn point. Spawn point number four. That's up here. And 
Spawn point number three. One, two, three. That's good for me because that's all the way up here. Let's just take a plane. Take our entry from here. And then they'll take a free move action to try and get closer to me. So that's to there, to there, and they don't get, get an action until the next turn. Okay, that's the end of turn three. Let's take a close-up of the battle right now. You know, my guys are better spread out. Uh, Sawbones is there, trying to take some shots there. Gators over there. He will try to take him out with his shotgun. Cyan is pretty much in the open, and Conduit is getting ready to hack the terminal over there at the tower. And on here, on the back, there's a lot of security guys swarming in. And over there, a couple of dudes as well. Turn number, uh, you should get a grenade launcher uh, for those large pack. Yes, I should. And some of my guys have grenades, actually. So let's try and uh, lob some grenades on somebody. Uh, let's start. So Cyan has some uh, uh, heavy explosive grenades and some EMP grenades for drones. Conduit has some a flashbang and a high explosive grenade. Uh, Gator doesn't have anything, and Spotless has an EMP grenade and a flashbang. So that would be smart. See if I can get a good shot. But here in the beginning, I think we'll have to um, try and hack the terminal. That's the uh, that's the objective. Um, Cyan will first use her free movement action to go up here. She needs a second move action to get to the edge of the uh, tower there. That's a success. So that'll let her move up here. And then from here, she'll try to lock a hand grenade into those guys. Good suggestion there, Serkma. And um, she only has one die, she needs a 4+, plus, a 7, so that's a success. And let's see if she can lock the grenade up here, she'll be able to hit all of them. Uh, the droid is not, I don't think the droid is damaged by a by an HE grenade. Let's see if we can find it somewhere. Pharma combat gear grenades. Frag grenade, minus two to organic targets, uh, dodge and defense roll. So the frag grenade has no impact on the drone, but uh, the four other guys need to make a uh, save. They have a D6 with a minus two to the roll, so, uh, Six. So they need to roll sixes to survive. The guy in the front. No. Redhead. He survives. Of course he does. He's a ginger. Next guy. No. And commander. No. So they're all blasted apart by a frag grenade. Oh. Off they go. And then we uh, have to... She's, she's used her HE grenade. So that's two of her actions. With her last action, she better move back into cover. And that's an uh, eight, so that's a success. And she gets to, I don't know where she can hide actually. Well, she'll move in here in the tower and hide. That was Cyan. Uh, next up, let's see, where do we take, uh, let's take Gator. Uh, Gator has no D10 actions anymore, so he'll start with his uh, D8 action and try to uh, take out the two security guys right in front of him. A 7, so that's a success. Here's the uh, shotgun template. He's able to cover those pretty neatly, so they both have to roll to survive. This guy right here, 
that's a two, so he's blasted apart. And a six, so the other guy survives. That leaves him with the d6 action. Boom, 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 boom. Let's try and take another shot, yeah? A six, so that's a hit. And let's see if that guy survives again. He does. That was a uh, gator. Then it's Sawbones, Spotless. Um, he'll try to take a shot down there right away. There's some intervening terrain, so that's a minus two to his roll. He needs a six. Uh, perhaps it's better to... Let's try to take a move action first. Nope, double one, Snake Eyes. Then, then he'll just have to take the shot. An eight, so that's a hit. Let's see if his guy can survive his third shot in the round. He does. Damn. And the D10. Let's see. Oh, is there anything better? Is there anything better? Ba, 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 ba. Uh, he'll try to take uh, Overwatch for a free action later. So that's a success. He gets to uh, go on Overwatch. So that's Gator, Spotless, and Cyan. Now we need to get to uh, Conduit. He'll try to you try to hack the terminal first. It's a uh, level one terminal because it's just a scrapyard, so it's minus one to his roll. So that's a success. We've hacked the terminal. We've killed all the squatters. Now they just need to exfiltrate the area without getting uh, killed. Uh, then I think he'll use his second action to try and activate the uh, PDK macro. Nope. And he'll use his last action to try and hijack the drone up there. And there's no line of sight requirements. There's no uh, range limits when doing hacking in uh, hardwired because it's all on a uh, Wi-Fi uh, network. So you don't really need hard points um, for hacking. Let's see if he can hack the drone up there. An eight, minus one, because it's a level one droid. So he uh, he takes control of, of one of these. That's on my side now. That's all his actions. Uh, now it's the hostile security forces again. And let's see if they can make some Mayhem. This guy uses his free action to go down here. Now he has a clear shot at Gator. One. He's tough as nail, but he can't hit. He's shooting like a stormtrooper. Um, getting out here in the open. Let's see if he can get a shot. Yeah, he can see Gator from there. So this guy does it as well. But uh, Gator has some light cover behind that rusty old wreck of a... Uh, truck turned trailer. Let's see. No, they are hitting him on a six. One and three. Uh, let's, 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 let's. Let's take this drone right here. Move him forward and try to take a shot at, at the ginger. There's intervening terrain, so he's only uh, hitting on a six. A four? No. Okay, so their primary target is to try and prevent me from getting out now. So I'm gonna move up here and he will try and take a shot at the at the drone with a uh, minus two. Let's see. Nope. And then we have these guys up here. Uh, let's see, three move action and a three move action, and these guys, is, they actually have an, I have to reroll their dice, because they are D8 enemies, so uh, they get more shots, they hit on a six, Better. so first one, that's a hit. Second one, let's uh, let's see if he survives. 
plus one to his defense rolls. No, he's uh, wounded again. Gator. Because they have two actions with a d8. So next action to shoot again. An eight. That's another hit. Let's see if the Gator can survive that one. He does on a three. Next guy. He doesn't hit. And with his second shot. That's another hit. And let's see Gator. And another save. So that's lucky, but he is down to only one action, Gator, because he just got hit a couple of times. Then this drone over here will try to take a move action. No. And the two D8 enemies up there will both try to take a move action. The drone. No. Uh, the drone again. No. The infantryman. One move action. And two move actions. Be able to move. Yeah, he's not able to get into cover, but he can get around, ready to blast me apart. That's the uh, end of turn one, uh, two, three. More troopers have to enter the board now. This time it's sixty-eight enemies. Let's see where the first ones come. They come at spawn point number three. One, two, three enemies. There and the next guys, number three again. I'm pretty lucky with these rolls because they enter the board from so far away and they just need to move uh, four, three inches, all of them. And they're just swarming in here. The bot's too big. Let's just move in here. There we go, swarming inside. And that's the end then of turn number four. So Spotless, he was uh, on Overwatch and I forgot to use it, so that's dumb. Gator is in a pretty bad shape. He only has one action and there's three guys watching him. Conduit and Zion are stuck here in the middle and they need to exit the board where they entered, then they had the uh, drone that uh, that we hijacked, and a giant squad of D8 enemies moving in from up there. If they are successful with their move actions, they will be able to catch up with me pretty quickly and do some real damage. And that's not going to be good. So turn number five, and there's only six turns in a game, so I have to get a move on and get out of the board just right now. First up, um, Gator will try to use some, uh, let's see, he has some hyperspace drugs. Or, uh, any all remaining action dies replaced by three D8s. So, Let's uh, try and see if he can get some adrenaline into his veins and get moving. A three, so that's not a success. That's the use of his action. He, he botched it. He was not able to use those drugs. And um, with his free move action, let's just try and get him out of the of the area of operations. But I don't think he'll make it. I really don't see how he could do that. Had he been successful now and gotten three extra actions with the D8s, that would have been massive. He could have healed himself with one of the actions, uh, with some McCoy drugs, and then uh, get a move on and blast some enemies apart. That didn't happen, so too bad for him. I think that, uh, let's see here. Spotless. Okay, time for some cool medic action. He'll try and start by activating the Adrenaline uh, Boost uh, Cap, Combat Application Protocol. That will make him move much faster. So let's see. It's a support cap, there's a success. So now he gets to move eight inches per move action. That can bring him up here with his uh, free move action. And then he'll try to administer some McCoy drugs to his uh, 
friend. Let's see. Uh, let's try and heal Gator. One. No. Freak. Let's try to uh, use the drugs again. A six. Okay. And then if I roll two success, he'll heal two wounds. One success. One wound healed on Gator, but that might give him a fighting chance. He's activated. I can't go back to him. And uh, Sawbone is pretty much a sitting duck out here as well, but that's how it goes. Conduit needs to get a move on. Let's try to activate an adrenaline boost for some extra movement. Use flashbacks and smoke to cover your exit. It's a good idea. So he's activated that so he can move a lot more. Um, I can throw a grenade 12 inches. So I could try. It's a good call. Does he have a flashbang? He does. So let's try and move and see. Okay, so he's he's going to run down here. That's his free move action. From here, he's trying to lob a flashbang to those dangerous uh, DH enemies over there. That's a shooting attack. Uh, so regular D8, a four. That's a success. And let's see if they uh, f if they fail their dodge and defend roll they will lose their next action. So that was a pretty good idea there, Serpa. Thank you. Uh, flashbang. Yeah, well... They have a D8. Uh, they have a D8 for uh, defense, so a 4 plus. The first guy, he's flashed, he loses his next actions. That's pretty neat. Come on, next one. A 4. So he doesn't lose his actions. Then, uh, that was the D8. So he has one action left and he's standing right in the open, no cover. So I better get a move on. And that's a success. So he's able to move eight inches down here. Yep. And that's bum bum bum. That was Conduit. Then we have Cyan, the newbie, the psychic. Let's see if we can get her out of here. She has an EMP grenade left, but she, there's no drones in the area that he, she's able to, uh, to mess with. Um, let's try and activate the uh, adrenaline boost protocol here. Three. Nope, that's not a success. Then she can try and... Okay, so she'll try to use a um, scramble psychic ability on that guy over there. If she's successful, she, he, his brain is all scramble and he'll use his, uh, lose his activation next turn. Let's use her D8 dies for that. So that's a success. So this guy loses his actions as well. Now she has one action left and a free movement and that better be a, another movement action. A success. So she's able to move six, uh, eight inches. Let's see. Uh, she'll run down here and hide behind the uh, container right there. Uh, let's take a quick close up before my guys get shot to pieces. So standing pretty much in the open there, the sawbone spotless managed to heal Gator just a bit, but that's an easy shot for that guy right there. They lost their activation from flashbang and psyching attacks. The drone that we hijacked will keep that guy from causing too much trouble. So there's pretty much only that guy right there, a threat. And all these guys gonna have to spend, I think, their entire action trying to getting into a last ditch effort for uh, firing at me in the last turn. All right, uh, now it's time to shoot me up by the bad guys. This guy right here uh, tries to take a shot at the most wounded character, that is Gator. 
He's also dangerous because he's a much deadlier shot. He doesn't hit. That's the one. There. So he'll use his free movement action to get into cover. They lost their actions. This guy up here, free move action, moves up here and takes a shot at... Uh, he'll also take a shot at Gator. Gator is not in... He's not in cover, so he's actually easier to hit because I've given him some uh, mimetic camouflage chameleon skin, so that makes him harder to hit if he's in cover, but when he's not in cover, it's easy to see that flimsy uh, electronics on his armor, so he's he's actually easier to hit for that uh, enemy character up there, so he's hitting him on a 3+. plus. First one, that's a hit. Let's see if he can uh, defend himself. He does. Second action. That's another hit, and another defense roll. So that's lucky. Then we have uh, the drone that I hijacked. Let's see if he can blast up that uh, guy over here. Uh, three. No, that's not a hit. And let's see if uh... yeah, let's see if that guy can uh, hit it in return. He doesn't hit anything, so he'll just move. It's not lucky. Gator is gone. Gator is pretty cool, and he's a cool miniature. And he's been doing very really well in these last couple of uh, games. So by rule of cool, Gator... Yeah, he's been doing really well. And if he dies, the rule says I have to paint a new miniature. That's why Cyan is in the game, because uh, Brick was killed in the last game, so I have to paint a new miniature. That's the rules. Let's move all these guys closer. See if any of them can get into shooting distance. Uh, this one. He'll just move up here and he'll take uh, two shots at my at uh, Spotless. First shot, a three, so that's not a hit. Second shot, that's a hit. Let's see if... Uh, Spotless, he fails his uh, save, so that's uh, his D10 action gone. Damn it. Then we have this big stumpy robot up there that needs to take another move action to get closer. It does. Now he gets a shot with his last dice. He's also shooting at Spotless. A three, so that's not a success. Lucky for me, and then there's all the guys left up here. Four. Four. And they'll really have to hustle if they are going to get some shots off in the last turn. Um, they all have to take some move actions. Success. Another success Good for him. So that's eight inches. He gets in range. So then one success, two success. Move up here. Then he'll climb up here. Get a nice firing position. The big walker butt. He gets two successes as well. Uh oh. Goes up there. The guy's over there. First guy. So they are pretty successful. Next one, he only gets one move action. But so far, they are two move actions on most of them. And the last guy, two move actions as well. He climbs up here. Oh, he could actually climb. He'll climb the big container right there. And then just, uh, let's put the... First wave of D10 enemies on the board. Let's see where they are entering. Please don't be spot number one. Four. One, two. Uh, D10 enemies coming from over here. And four. Lucky me. Over there. And they all take a free move into the board. 
So one, two, three, four inches. That's just around here. Whoops. Yep, close enough. Okay, so this is the situation. That was the end of turn five. Uh, now we are heading into turn six. It's the last turn. Uh, let's see here. So Conduit, my Hagger, he's pretty close to the edge. He'll be able to make it across. Uh, Spotless and Gator, they have a bit longer to run and they're both wounded. So that's going to be a... Yeah, that might, ha that might happen. And Cyan, she's not wounded, so she should be able to, to get out. But uh, it all come down to the uh, dice gods, of course. I'm pretty lucky that I've rolled so all the enemies have come from the... Uh, mostly from point number two and three. That's the best thing for me. Had they come from point number one and, and more guys early on from point number four, that would have been really bad. Um, yeah, let's see if we can exfiltrate the guys. Now that the uh, they're not really the heroes right now. Having just eliminated a family of poor people living here. Uh, Gator. Mm. He has his D6 uh, action. Let's see if he can get another move. Nope. Let's see if he can uh, administer some uh, hyperspace drugs for a lot of extra actions. Don't matter if you crash. No. He has one free move action left. He's not able to make it off the board. Had he succeeded using those damn drugs, and I should probably just have used both action trying it, he would have had plenty of adrenaline in his system to run out. No success. Spotless. He'll use the uh, D6 action to try and uh, activate the adrenaline boost. A four, so that's a success. That double his movements. So, if he's successful on this roll, he will be able to leave the board. There's a move action there. So that's 16 inches of movement all in all. So he's able to exfiltrate and live to fight another day. That's one guy out. Uh, Conduit, he's not wounded at all. He'll just... Let's try and start by hacking that droid up there could give us some good support seven uh, six five so that's a success because it's a level two droid so that is hijack as well uh, then he gets his free move action that's uh, up to there and should he do 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 Before taking his free move action, let's try and lob a... That's all droids. Does he have an EMP grenade? He has a flashbang. Let's try and lob a frag grenade up there. If he hits, that's good. That might take out two guys. Um, if not, not so good. Let's see. Uh, yes, that's a hit. So that's uh, two guys there having to uh, defend from a blast from a uh, hand grenade. First guy, no success. Second guy, a success. So the first guy is dead, blasted apart. That leaves him with uh, one action left. Let's take a move action. That's enough. So move and his second move action and he is out. He's exfiltrated as well. Last up is Cyan. I think I think Gator will probably die. Uh, Cyan will try to. Um, how many inches is there? Let's 
So she moves first uh, four inches for free, and then she needs two successful move actions to get out. And I think that'll be the primary uh, objective for her. So first up, two dice, no success. Second action, no success. Uh, last action, a success. So she's able to get closer to the uh, board edge. But she's uh, pretty, she'll, she'll try and hide behind this tree right there, but she's pretty vulnerable. And that's all my guys. <laughs> now let's the shooting commence. She's hiding down here behind that tree right there. That's a lot of enemies. Um, now this drone, take a free move action up here and try to shoot that security guy right in front of him. Let's just see here. Uh, that's a hit and no success. So he's dead. That's good. Then let's activate this guy over here. First let's blast his comrade right in front of him. That's a d8. Uh, that's a success. And he'll try to defend with a d8. That's a success. Let's try again. And he fails the second one. So he's blasted apart as well. Good. Great. Now it's the enemy. First up, they'll take their free move actions. So swarm ahead and swarm ahead. They of course want to blast all my guys to bits. So over there, this guy over here. Mm, yeah, let's start with those guys. They can move down here as well. Uh, four. I think so. The hardest way to play this would be to try and kill off Gator with the. Uh, oh, can I kick somebody from here on Twitch? I don't, uh, let me look at it. Thank you, Sina. I don't know if I can kick and ban somebody. Use your administrator. I don't know how to do stuff like this. Um, while gaming, I should probably... Boom. Thank you. That's my producer, Trolle, who's also uh, doing all the stuff on the uh, podcast. So thank you for kicking that butt out of here. This guy first, trying to take a shot at Gator. No cover, no nothing. Let's see if Gator can protect himself. He could, that's good. Uh, let's try with these guys up here because they have the best chance of reading him, reaching him. They all need to move before they can get off a shot. So uh, that's the 10 enemies. First one gets a move, second one gets a move, third one gets a move. Fourth one gets a move. They're not blasting uh, apart their own their own friend. Um, if they can just kill my guys, they can probably you know reset the bot and take it back. So they're not blasting in that apart. They want to kill my agents. Uh, this guy first. There's a light cover. Let's see if he can hit with his uh, second action. Light cover, that's minus two, so he minus one extra from mimetic camouflage, so that's not a hit. Uh, second action, nope. This guy will try to move into a better position. No, so he'll just take a shot. Uh, Nine minus five, that's a four, that's a success. Let's see if he can survive it. He does. Great work there, Gator. Uh, this guy will try and get into a better firing position. He does, so he can move out here. Now he doesn't have any cover with his last action. He'll hit on a three. No. Uh, that's this guy, this guy, this guy, this one. Move into a better position. He does. Now Gator has no cover. Hits on a three. That's a success. Come on, Gator. Another save. That guy is made of rocks. He's 
damn hard to hurt. That was all the D10 enemies. So uh, this bot will just try and take him out. Oh, this guy up here first. No cover, and that's a D8 enemy. Uh, so that's a hit, and that's a wound. And now he's on his uh, last one. Let's see. Uh, that's another hit and a save. This guy right here, he has to take a move action first. He does. And try to take the shot. Let's just roll the defense right away. He's hitting him on a 3+. plus, So that's a hit and not a save. Gator is not dead yet, but he only has a free movement action left, so he won't be able to leave the board. He's completely crippled. He'll have to crawl from here. So I think the last guys, they will try to take out Cyan. Uh, this one over here needs to take a move action to try and get a shot. That's not a success, so he'll just try to shoot Gator. He doesn't hit. This guy, if he climbs the container there, he might be able to get off a shot. So he climbs over here. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Can he see her? Yeah, he can. But he needs to roll a uh, an eight to hit her because that's minus two for some obstructions there and minus two from there. So that's a minus four to his roll. Let's see if he can get an eight. He doesn't. She's not hurt. That guy down there Climbs the shipping container as well. Tries to take a shot. No. Uh, that guy, the last one, takes a move and takes a shot at Gator. That's the last enemy able to shoot. Uh, that's a hit. And that's Gator down for the count. He's dead. I might play another game, but I need to paint a new model for the next game session because Gator is down, blasted apart by hostile security forces. And as this is the last turn, the uh, final D10 enemies will now uh, enter the board and they get to activate right away in a last ditch effort. So if I roll some once, they will get here and they will probably blast uh, Cyan apart. Let's see where they enter the board. Two. Uh, I don't think they'll be able to do anything from up there. Well, let's just see how far they can move if they take. So they get one free action that's there, and then they spend two actions, so that's 12. Nah, they won't be able to do anything. Uh, let's see if we get a one here on the last roll, potentially last roll of the game. Another two. So all the last guys enter the board up there, and even with three actions, they won't be able to get line of sight to uh, Cyan. So that's the end of the game. That's the end of turn six. Cyan survives as well. Uh, so that's uh, three guys surviving. Gator dead and killed. And this is how it looks at the uh, at the end of the map. You can just move into a landfill area and uh, kill some hobos living there without lots of hostile security forces moving in. I was really lucky with my uh, rolls where they entered. Had I rolled more ones, I'm sure that I would have lost more than one. Thanks for watching this game of uh, Hardwired, Cyberpunk, Espionage and uh, Mayhem. Make sure to drop some likes on all of the social media stuff that I have uh, going on. There's a playlist on YouTube with uh, all the stuff that I've uh, made for um, Hardwired and it'll get posted uh, over time. Or check out the Twitch where there's also uh, highlights of all the games. Thanks for uh, watching.